Hello and welcome to the episode 31 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. The highlights of the day include an unusual double feature, another day of shooting in the park, and the final day of sessions for the Get Back project. Let's start with the 31st of January 1962. The Beatles, featuring Pete Best on drums, performed an evening concert at the Cavern Club with Remo Four and Kingside Taylor and the Dominoes. The cover, naturally, is in Liverpool, still open to this day. Three performances in a day for the soon-to-be Fab Four in 1963. First, a lunchtime concert at the Cavern Club. Then, two evening performances at the Majestic Ballroom in Birkenhead. The initial engagement provided the dancing public with only one concert, at 8 pm, but the demand for ticket was so great that the venue asked and obtained from the band another performance at 11 pm. The practice of having two performances from the same band to accommodate customer demand was quite common for theatres and cinemas, as we have already seen with previous entries for What a Fab Day. This happened because this kind of venue could only host relatively small audiences, but it was virtually unheard of for ballrooms, usually much bigger. The fact that the Beatles had started to attract such a crowd is another hint of their growing success. In 1964, the Beatles performed twice at the Olympia Theatre in Paris, France, as part of their residency there. On the 31st of January 1967, the Beatles returned to Knoll Park in Kent, England, for an afternoon shooting session for Strawberry Fields Forever's promotional video. Today, among other sequences, there was a shot of Paul McCartney dropping down from the dead oak tree that was the center of the action. During a break from the shooting, John Lennon acquired the poster from an antique shop in the area. The poster, advertising an 1843 circus show in Rochdale, would inspire Lennon to write Being for the benefit of Mr. Kite. The 31st of January 1969 marked the final day of the Get Back project. Having performed several songs during the Rooftop concert on the previous day, the Beatles and Billy Preston reconvened at the Apple Studios today. The main purpose of this session was rounding up those songs that still weren't committed to tape properly, including Let It Be, The Long and Winding Road, and Two of Us. The reasons why the band had chosen not to perform these songs live was simple. Both The Long and Winding Road and Let It Be required the piano, and it would have been impractical to try and move one to the rooftop. Two of us, instead, had become an acoustic folky number during the various rehearsals and wasn't suitable for the atmosphere of a performance in the open air. During the session, the band also performed a version of Lady Madonna and one of I Want You, She's So Heavy with Paul on vocals, plus A Good Looking, Step Inside Love, Did I Do, and other oldies. The main songs attempted were all Paul's, and so the filming was arranged with the band in a stage formation, focusing on McCartney. Again, when Let It Be was released as a single, snippets of the film were used as a clip to promote the song on TV. Ideally, the closing of this session should have been the end of the Get Back project, with engineer Glyn Jones left to assemble an album and director Michael Lindsay Hogg to cut the film. I think we all know that the story of the completion of the album and of the film was a bit more laborious and complex than that. More on this in future episodes, of course. Meanwhile, on this date in 1970, Ringo Starr and his wife Maureen flew back to Los Angeles, California, from Las Vegas, Nevada. 
This was just a quick stop to prepare for their imminent return to England. This concludes another episode of What A Fab Day and indeed the whole month of January. Thank you for having followed my storytelling so far. To show any appreciation for this podcast, please visit www.simonmas.com support and check out ways to help me out, even for free. If you want, leave me a message via the website contact form. In the episode description, you will find a link to the bibliography of the show and one to a list of all the songs tried out during the Get Back project. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.